Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Tim Van Orden with the Running Raw Project. I'm out on a big boot run up and down Bald Mountain in Bennington. And uh, listening to a great lecture series by Alan Watts, amazing philosopher. And I'm having lots of really potent thoughts. And as I'm running along, I noticed a set of giant bull moose tracks. And right next to it are these little bobcat tracks. Well, they're actually huge compared to a house cat, but. Compared to the moose, there are these tiny little bobcat tracks. And I got thinking about the lecture and these two sets of tracks and behavior and maturity. And the journey that I'm on right now, the very challenging and difficult journey that I'm on, especially in the past few weeks, is to align or reconcile my beliefs and my behavior because I often believe that I'm the bull moose. I believe that I'm fully grown. I believe that I'm mature. I believe that I'm a powerful expression. I believe that I know who I am and what's important and I know how to get what I want. And I have some degree of certainty as I stride through life leaving these big tracks. But in reality, I'm just making little bobcat tracks and that's my behavior. And this behavior is not in alignment. It doesn't coincide with my beliefs. So the process that I'm going through now is to temper my beliefs and bring them down closer to the level of my behavior, while at the same time bringing my behavior up a little bit closer to my beliefs because I do feel that there is some value in my beliefs. I do feel that there is some value in my goals, in my intentions. But I also have to come to realize that much of what we think as human beings is simply delusion. And much of the struggle and challenge that we have in life are these giant lofty belief systems that don't match our behavior. And we measure ourselves against our belief systems and we never measure up because we're leaving these tiny little bobcat tracks and wondering why we're not getting what we want. Or we look at other people and we project onto them what they should be, what they ought to be. They should be the moose. You're the man, you should be the moose. The big bull moose. And you're only leaving these tiny little cat tracks. What's wrong with you? A lot of the tools that I talk about and a lot of the things that I, I process in these videos is about my own journey of bringing my behavior up while bringing my beliefs down, shrinking my ego a bit and also challenging myself to rise to the occasion. And where they meet in the middle, hopefully that's a reality that's not nearly as big as I hoped my life would be but it's a lot bigger and more powerful and much more stable than the little cat tracks that I've been leaving behind. And I think this applies to just about everyone. We've got this idea of our true self, of our better self, of our bull moose self. And then we've got the little cat tracks that we leave behind and we often beat ourselves up because we look around us in the world and we see all these bull moose walking around, these giant lofty creatures, powerful, dominant, important, wealthy, fit, intelligent and we look behind us and we see little cat tracks and we get mad and we do affirmations and say I am the bull moose I am an important person I am a powerful person I have an impact in this world I matter I have value well you also have value as a cat leaving little cat tracks because that's where you are right now and maybe that's not where you want to be. Maybe that's not ideally where you should be. 
Maybe your tracks should get a little bigger and you become a dog or maybe a deer. Hopefully not a deer in the headlights. But you can get there. But it's a huge gap between the moose and the cat. But it's not so big of a gap between the cat and the dog. And if you bring those moose ideals down and you're more gentle and you allow yourself a small gap of growth and you take the steps, it'll be a lot easier to get there. Because when you see the tiny cat and compare it to the big bull moose, you say to yourself, I can't do that. It's too much. It's too big. So never mind the gap. Just bring up your behavior a little bit and bring your ideas down to meet it. Okay? See ya.